This is 3 News Daily. Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to 3 News Daily on your Wednesday, January 17th on this cold, cold day in Northeast Ohio. I'm Stephanie Haney. Thank you for being here with us. We start with an update for you for a story that 3 News has been following closely. We have new police body cam video to show you. This was released by the city of Elyria. It shows a home being raided and the single mom who was in that home says a flashbang sent her son to the ICU. In the video, you see here Elyria police going up to the home where 25 year old Courtney Page was inside with her 17 month old son. You can clearly see police throw the flashbang and the window breaking. The toddler was in a bouncy chair underneath that window. Three News obtained audio from the house's ring camera where you can hear someone say this. <laughs> Turns out the names on the police's search warrant did not match the names of the people who actually live in the house. Those people are Paige's aunt and uncle. Paige says she was in town getting health care for her son and her son was badly hurt by the flashbang. My son was a crime in the video that sent me and like in that moment he was okay. But it's the effects that they've left him with. Now to clear up the confusion surrounding this case, sheriff's deputies have been asked to investigate and the mayor has requested an external investigation. Now in Canton, several agencies say they busted a human trafficking operation. The sting happened last week in Green and Jackson Township. The Ohio State Highway Patrol says that the undercover operation led to 16 arrests and helped save four potential human trafficking victims. Troopers say charges are pending while the cases are investigated and that the potential victims have been provided with medical care and victim advocates. Now we have an update for you on the case against Shoregate Towers Apartments in Willowick. That's where a parking garage collapsed last August. The building's owners, Lemma Getachu and Gannette Indoli, were found guilty of building code violations. The judge sentenced them to three years of probation, suspending their jail time and ordering them to each pay $3,000 in fines. Now, the Haslam family has sold its remaining 20% share of Pilot Travel Centers to Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway. This is after Brown's owner Jimmy Haslam agreed to settle in court last week over the value of the family's remaining stake in the Pilot Flying J company. Haslam sued Buffett in October, claiming that his company tried to devalue the remaining stake in Pilot that had not yet been sold to Buffett. Now in Akron, the public schools continue to finalize redistricting plans, and some parents say they were caught off guard by what they're calling a new change. District officials say students at Akron STEM High School will all be moving to East CLC in the fall for the new school year. Parents say they were told two months ago that students would be able to stay in that building, but last week they were told this update. Currently, the district leases the building from the University of Akron, but that lease is up at the end of this school year, and district officials now say they can't afford to stay in the building. There are a lot of things and logistics that would have to go into this that we would not be able to do um, from a fiscal perspective over time. Now, at a community meeting last night, parents of the students that go to Akron STEM High School voiced their concerns. They say they're worried about safety following violent incidents at East CLC last year and also transportation for the students. The superintendent says the two student populations would be kept separate. All right, sports talk now. Despite getting knocked out of the playoffs, we are not done talking about the Cleveland Browns yet. David Njoku, Kareem Hunt, and Brian Brennan are partnering with All-Star Sports Gallery to host a meet and greet this weekend. It's on Saturday, January 20th at the Hartville Marketplace. There are quite a few things to look forward to if you want to make it out there. They'll have autograph signings available. You can also buy framed jerseys there. You can even get yourself a shirtless photo op with Njoku if you want to. That'll cost you a pretty penny though, 150 bucks for that one. The next meet and greet at Hartville Marketplace is coming up on February 3rd, so this is not a one-time deal, but there will be different players there. There'll be Grant Delpit, Sione Takitaki, and Alex Wright. If you want more information on that, including some of the other things you can get there, head to WKYC.com. Now, we do have to celebrate the person who made the season, at least what it was for the last half of the season. A school district is celebrating our Browns. Listen to this.
That happy birthday song was directed to none other than Joe Flacco. This is Brook Park Elementary School. They were hosting a Browns gym class takeover yesterday afternoon. It is in Berea. The kids spent the day celebrating playing sports and celebrating how far the Browns did make it this year, which was pretty far. And I think we all can agree that we got to thank Joe Flacco for that. So happy birthday, Joe Flacco. We appreciate you. And I appreciate all of you for being with us for 3 News Daily today, wherever you're watching or listening. Thanks for hanging out with us. Have a beautiful Wednesday. Please stay warm. It is very cold out there. And we'll see you back here tomorrow with more of your top stories from around Northeast Ohio.